Luke from Alliance MMA, Nick Pugh, Faria, BJJ. Like Joe said, don't blink. It's going to be a fireworks show tonight. Now, Luke seems to be staring, staring at the hips, maybe uh, looking for a kick or looking for his opponent to throw a kick, maybe for a takedown. Both fighters seem relaxed. They're both orthodox, so they're, they got their left in the lead. Nick's stance is a little wide. Luke missing with an overhand right. Dancing around, trying to get comfortable. In the beginning, you, especially with pros, you fill out a little bit. You want to get your range. You want to get the rhythm. Fighting's all about patterns. If you can break your opponent's pattern, you can land a shot. And it looks like right there, Luke was able to connect with a, a hook over the top of a right hand. Nick's got to be careful. He doesn't want to overcommit to anything. Luke looking good, very calm, nice leg kick. I'd like to see Luke set that up with his hands before he just throws it, because that could get you taken down. Again, action-packed night, true form entertainment. Nick's throwing a lot of feints, but you got to throw something behind a feint. The purpose of a feint is to see the reaction of your opponent and then capitalize. If you throw a bunch of feints, you get booed. You throw a feint and act. Throw a feint and act. Nick Pugh, center of the cage. Moving well, needs to let it fly a little bit more, these rounds. Luke seems to be the one that's more aggressive, even though he's not as active, because he's landing uh, from the outside almost whenever he wants. He, you're right, he's more dictating the fight, even though he's not as aggressive. It, it, oh, I mean, he's, he's connecting, and you can see the frustration starting to take place on Nick. And now, nice takedown. He, he came in like that, he gave up the takedown to Luke. Looking for a switch right now. Nick's trying to scoot to the outside and get his shoulder pressure above Luke's shoulder and, and switch positions. He wants to come from the bottom position to the top position here. Luke looking good, controlling. Now, if I'm Luke and he starts to switch me, you want to limp arm or look to take the back here. He's trying to elevate the legs and almost get in the Jake Shields position where he steps over into mount and he uses his legs to lock his opponent's legs. Look at the switch. Oh, wow. No, Nick gets re-switched into the fence and now he's eating some right hands. Great transition. That was just good timing. He escapes the leg. Luke Faltersack, nice transition, looking good, middle of the cage. Luke made Nick get frustrated earlier and was able to capitalize with a takedown. Now Nick coming from the outside with some heavy shots, but can't seem to find his range yet. Wild overhand right, just missing. Luke Faltersack, looking good, dictating the action. Nick doing a good job of stepping to the um, to the power side, actually. If you watch, he's stepping to his left instead of rotating defensively. He's looking to land that right hand. Oh, he's got to be careful. He throws a left hook, and Luke comes in there with a mean double, gets him to the mat. Another takedown. That's Luke Faltersack looking good. That's two for the round. Well, now he's in full guard, so he needs the work to improve. You notice him pressuring up, coming Against up. Against the cage. You got to be careful, though. When you pressure up, your opponent comes off angle. They got those arm bars, those triangles, very dangerous. Walter Sack with nice control here. You see that body triangle? That tells me that it's going to make it harder for Luke to breathe, but it's also locking him down. Nick, if he's able to keep that body triangle, it, that, the likelihood of, of Mike standing him up is greater because he's showing like, hey, my opponent can no longer advance position. Uh -huh. um, We're basically see, stuck. Yeah, and if, if Luke just holds position here, he's going to find, he's going to get stood up. You got to land. You have to improve your position. It's a big thing in fighting. Now, it looks like Nick is trying to go over the top into a guillotine position from here. I, oh, and, and then now he's no longer has it. Now, nice call on Mike. Mike Beltran, keeping the fight moving. You know what sold me there? When Nick opened his legs, I didn't see Luke go to pass. And, and that uh -huh. tells me you gotta stand him up. Oh. Just missing with a body shot. Okay. A head well, kick by Nick Pugh. We haven't seen too many of those. Um, that excites me because that means 
both of these fighters are still got some tricks up to their sleeves. If you can surprise me, you're doing a good job. Oh, oh my gosh! Front Almost kick, a front kick to the face. Almost like Mashida to Randy. That was a beautiful front front push kick to the chin. Wow, Luke Faltersack, True Form Entertainment. Are you absolutely kidding me? Devastating way to end that fight, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the cleanest front kicks I've ever seen to somebody's face, and I got to see it right, right here. Um, it looks like Nick is 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 conscious. He's talking to the doctor right now, and he seems to know. He seems to understand what just happened. It's frustrating. The first thing that they say is, "What day is it?" You don't know. Luke Faltersack. Wow, having the crowd silenced, it was you, so dramatic. You know what I appreciate violent. there? Look at Luke right now. Concerned. He's there concerned about his opponent. He understands he's not over-celebrating. Talk about a gentleman. Talk, look at these these two professionals. Right now, it's frustrating for Nick because you, you, you don't understand. That snapping front kick and then finishing that up with elbows and punches, that's the killer instinct, Joe, that's that what we like win, to see. That's what wins you fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this featherweight bout come to an end at 4 minutes and 32 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout in the blue corner, Luke Cage Corporation. All right, going to shake hands, showing extreme sportsmanship, Luke Faltersack. Come on over here, Luke. What a great victory for you. Are you absolutely kidding me, my brother? Walk us through that knockout right there. That was a front kick, and then you threw...